So there are five common surface types. You have your plaster or quartz pool, which is also known in industry as a concrete pool. Then you have the pebble tech pool surface type, and this is basically just river rock. Then you have a vinyl pool, which is a piece of plastic, basically. And fiberglass is the next pool surface type you'll run into. And then the last type that's really not too common in the United States is a tile pool or an all-tile pool. And you may have a combination of some of these surface types. You may have a plaster pool with some tile mixed into it. And all these pool surface types can come in different colors. They can add dye to the plaster to change the color. Pebble Tech comes with a lot of different color choices. And a vinyl and fiberglass pool can also have different color liners and different color fiberglass. And of course, you can get different color tile. So you're going to see a variation of different color pools out on your route based on the surface type and the color chosen by the customer. And so the most important thing to note about the pool surface types is that some are more susceptible to staining and tearing, like the vinyl pool surface and fiberglass pool surface. So you want to use caution with the vinyl and fiberglass pool surface not to add any kind of granular or powdered chlorine to them because this could stain the surface of those particular pool types. And you also don't want to use any kind of stainless steel brushes in a vinyl pool, nor do you want to vacuum the vinyl pool with a regular wheeled vacuum. This could tear the liner. Bottom line with the vinyl pool, you want to do everything possible not to tear that liner. For a fiberglass pool, it's perfectly fine to use a wheeled vacuum, but in a fiberglass pool, you don't want to use any kind of stainless steel brush also that could damage the fiberglass surface. And if you're using a vacuum system, that's perfectly safe to use in a plaster pool, pebble tech pool, and fiberglass pool. But you want to use the vacuum system with caution in a vinyl pool. And along with these surface types, there are two types of pools. There's the in-ground pool, and then there's the above-ground pool. You'll find that most above-ground pools are vinyl or fiberglass. And one of the main differences, of course, is that the above-ground pool sits above the ground, and you have to reach over to clean it. And the in-ground pool is, of course, in the ground itself. Another difference between the above-ground pool and an in-ground pool is that the equipment for an above-ground pool will sit below the pool's water level. And this means that if you were to open up anything, the filter or the pump, water could drain out of that pool. So you want to make sure you close off any kind of valves before the equipment in an above-ground pool before opening anything at the equipment. Also, there's some in-ground pools where the equipment may be below the water level. If the pool is set up somewhere and equipment is below on a hill, this is also the same thing you'll run into. And I'll cover that more when I talk about equipment. But I think for the surface types, basically you have to know that certain surface types will stain easier than others, vinyl and fiberglass. And then you have the more durable surface type in the pebble and plaster pool where you can vacuum with a wheeled vacuum with no problem. And you can use a stainless steel brush in the pebble tech and plaster pool with no issues. Pool Service Pro, open a Leslie's Wholesale account today and receive wholesale pricing on products you use every day. Leslie's Pool Supply offers convenient locations that are open 7 days a week. Another great benefit of opening a Leslie's Wholesale account is Leslie's Referral Program. Get referred to a customer looking for weekly pool service. Save time and money and grow your pool service route and become a Leslie's Pro.